Hello, grade one, boys and girls. How are you today? I'm really, really missing you today. Even if we don't see each other and talking and solving math together, never mind, we can do it with this video. So today we will talk about adding in any order. Adding in any order. This is lesson seven. I want you to repeat after me. Adding in any order. How? Here. If I have here yeah, the stick. What a time picture dealing with the stick. Okay. If I have, for example, wait a minute. Okay. If I have, for example, this is a three, six, one, two, and three. Okay. I want to add two more. They will be what? They will be five. I hope that you can see the six years. Here they will be five. Okay. Okay. They will be five. If I have to say three plus two is the same of two plus five. Three plus two is the same of two plus five. So if I change the order of the addon, the answer will be the same. Changing the order of the add -in, the answer will be the same. Changing the order of the add -in, the answer will be the same. So this is the lesson for today. I'm just changing. If I have 5 plus 3, it's the same of 3 plus 5, and the answer or the sum will be the same. So we will go directly to the PowerPoint and it's understand more. Okay. Here it is, before we start, we have two vocabularies to talk about. Say with me. Addant, 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 addant. Addant are the number you add. Addant are the number you add. Addants are the number you add. The second one, sum, again, sum, again, sum, again, sum, again, sum. Sum is the answer. So add in plus, add in equals sum. Four plus one equals five. Four and one are what? Addants and sum is the five. Let's see another thing here. Okay. Look here. Wait a minute. It is down in the picture. Can you see it? Adding in any order. In the first picture here, it's your home. And here it is, is your school. So if I want to compare between the a road or the distance between your home and your school, let's see here. The distance from home to school is two miles. And the distance from school to home, also two miles. So how you know that? If I have one finger and here is the other finger, from here to here, it's the same of from here to there. So changing the order of the places will not ever change the result. Going from home to school is the same from school to home. Very nice. Again, from home to school, the same of from school to home. So the distance from your home to school is the same as the distance from school to home. Like I'm adding the distance home plus school is the same like school plus home and the answer will never ever change. Here is I have two cars, one blue, one yellow. If I said four blue is A and four yellow is B. I'm adding A plus B 
It's the same of B plus A because I have the same cars in the second part. So the answer will be the same. Very nice. So here is it. Let's see the counters. Here it is. Here is I have marbles. I have three marbles plus one more. The answer is four. Three is adding plus the one is adding. Four is the sum. If I change the order of the addends, one plus three, the answer will be four and it's the same. So the song said, if you change the order of the addends, the answer will be the same. If you change the order of the addends, the answer will be the same or the sum will be the same. Let's see here. I bring my pen and let's see for number one, they did it and number two, they did it, but I'll explain it for you. Here is I have two green marbles with four more. The answer is just count and two and four are the fact of what? Six, perfect. Now, if I switch the order of the addends, the answer will be the same one. The answer would be the same one. Here is I have two different kind of elephants. One wild, two wild elephants and one for the circus. It's like this. Two plus one. Two and one. Very nice. Three. Switch the order of the ad. And here is I have one purple star and two more. The answer will be the same. That's it. Super easy. Changing the order of the add and the answer will be the same. Again, sing it with me. Changing the order of the add and the answer will be the same. If you change the order of your add and the sum will be the same. What is the sum? It's the answer. What is the sum? It's the answer. What is the add and? number you add that's it super easy let's go to the second page this is the practice okay here is you have to match we have up as can you see counters first we use marbles and then stars then hearts let's see i want four plus three so i have two add-ins should be four and three if i count here here is I have five, and here is I have four. That's four plus three. Here is I have four, and here is I have three. That's it. So four first, then three. Let's see here what I have two, and here one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I will see what is five and four. That's it, excellent. And what is two and six? Yeah, super, super, super. Genius. Let's go to the second one, B. Write the number and then add. I have dices. I have to count the dots. One, two, one. Together they are three. If you switch the order of your add-ins, the answer will be the same. Yes, here it will be one. The answer, and here is a two, the answer will be the same three. For the second one, here is I have one, two, and here is one, two, three, four. Two and four, fact of what? Fact of six. Two and four, four and two, fact of six, fact of six. If you change the order of your addend, the answer will be the same four. And two, the answer would be the same, six. That's right. Super, 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 super simple. It is we have two. Let's read the question together. Cross out the one that does not fit. So we have three things. One of them, they are not in the same group. Let's see what this is. Number one, three plus five, two plus two, Five and three. Huh? I have the same addend. Switching the order, the answer will be the same. 
Yes, extend. We have a three and five, five and three together, but two and two, they are, it's not with the group. Go away, two plus two. Here it is, six plus one, one plus six, two plus four. Which one is not fit? Very nice, smart, two plus four. Six and one, one and six are the same answer. Okay, eight plus zero, seven plus two, two plus seven. Which one doesn't fit? Fabulous, it's eight plus zero. Because seven plus two, two plus seven is the same answer. Let's go now to problem solving. As you can remember, when I'm doing the problem solving, I have to read and I have to add to understand. Let's say together the four steps for problem solving. Four steps for problem solving, read, understand. Make your plan, carry out the plan and check your answers. So before doing anything, you have what? You have to read. Read number one. Here it is. Lamis has four muffins and Marla has three. How many more muffins does Lamis need to make the sum seven? So I want who, who I want Lamis. She needs a number to make all the muffins that she has seven. What does Lamis has? Lamis has four. Okay, and the sum, the equal is seven. But I will add four, four to make it seven. Here is four, let's count to seven. What after four? Five, six, seven. She needs what? She needs three more, excellent. So she will get her friend's muffins. Maybe she will share it with her later, okay? How many more muffins does Marla need to make seven? Let's write Marla with another color. Maybe green. Marla is three, okay? And she needs to get seven. What I will add to three to make it seven? Three, let's count to seven. What after three? Four, five, Six, seven. She needs more. Four. Plus four. What do you find here? Sum is the same. And if you switch the order of your addends, four plus three equals seven. And three plus four equals seven. They are the same. So, if you change the order of your addends, the answer will be the same. Perfect. Let's go to number two. Oliver says that three plus one and one plus three have the same answers. Is he correct? And explain. Is he correct? Yes. One and a three plus equals Three and one. Why? Because if you change the order of your addend, the answer will be the same. So, right? Because it because if you Change the or the of a dent the answer. I will write up, make your handwriting smaller is 
the same. Okay, that's it. Let's go to this last page. Here is we have to match. Let's see what we have here. Okay, match. Add zero, adding in any order. Which one is adding zero? Five plus four equals nine, four plus five equals nine, or three plus zero equals three, zero plus six equals six. Very nice, here is adding zero because I have already zero. Adding in any order should be the same number here. Yes, see, five, four, five plus four, four plus five equals nine. Very nice. So this is the session for today. I missed you already and I want to see you soon, inshallah. When the problem will be solved, Inshallah, we will talk together and you solve with me, all right? So I want you to do your homework. This is lesson seven. See you later, good one. Girls and boys. Bye-bye.